All right, guys. Today, I'm in here with Pablo. Hi, everybody. How's it going? The man, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish. It's an honor to be here. We're in here just trying to figure out what we're doing. We found this little guy right here. Another little rub right there on that tree. Beautiful place back in here today. It's cool, cloudy. Ain't no sun or nothing, so it's a really good day to come out here and scout. So we're going to see if we can't find somewhere we might be able to hunt this next season. Yeah. It's a good looking area. Really good. Fish is faster than we were. Yeah. Way faster. I mean, she came out here on this range. It's kind of like a way down in the spring down that way. I mean, she could not be that far. There it is right there. Where? Right there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's a black razor, guy. Right? Yep. Pretty. Sure is. Yeah. No, I'm banning this. You're sitting there checking us out. <laughs> yep. There you go. There she goes. Yep. He's back up under that log. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You never know what you might see in here. It's tangled mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that one fresh? Yeah, like you said, it's like clean the fat. Yep. Clean the fat. Is this right there? You can tell this little bench, there's a little bit of a, you can see, I don't know if y'all can see this trail or not. It's coming down this little, there's a bench right here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but coming right down, it looks like a crossing right there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It definitely does. Going right up into that thicket. It's probably, he's probably laying there watching us right now. He probably knew the, yeah, he probably knew the we were here way before. Yeah, about, about 30 minutes yeah. ago. <laughs> he probably didn't even move. He's probably still laying up there. Yeah. Pretty cool little spot, man. It's pretty in here. It's pretty anywhere. There's a deer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, There's a good straight line right there. Yeah. yeah Let's walk up here. We'll follow this, follow this trail back up the side of this ridge. Here they are right here under this hemlock tree. It's a big scrape right there. Another one right there, another one. Two more. Yeah, two more right here. Some of these branches have been broken right here. It's yep. a fairly good height. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah, this is a heck of a trail. Yeah. Coming right down through here. It's one of those places too that Do you think it's not uh, well no, that's just a broken leaf right there, but right here most likely. Yep, it broke those off too. Hmm. And at least two years in a row because I like I said I found yep. these there you know, some places in here last year where there was some sign too, so maybe it's the same buck who's a year bigger. Pablo! Made it late, but I made it. <laughs> How you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. Glad to be here another day. We're gonna go do some scouting again. Maybe, cross them fingers, we might be able to recover a camera that's been on the woods since August. That's right. Yeah, August. we went yesterday, yeah. and uh, we're a glutton for punishments. So we're gonna go back and beat our legs up again today. Luckily, mine feel, yeah. feel pretty good. I got, yeah. got a little bit of bounce. <laughs> I think so, too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it rolling. That's right. We're going to head out. We're going to go get these cameras. And uh, if we get something cool on there, we'll put it on this video and let y'all check it out. You know, I've never, never been a, um, a church man at all, you know. Right. Um, and since I was a child, uh, even back then in Costa Rica, when my mom was, has been a Christian throughout her life, and I, she always asked me, son, would you like to go to church? And I was like, eh. You know, always putting up excuses and all that stuff. Right. Well, like they said, you know, God got ways, mysterious ways to be working on people and all that. And I bet you he was knocking on my door for so long in so many different ways and I was never responding that he said one time, <coughs> you know what? I'm gonna reach him the way that he likes and the way that he wanted. And 
Well, I got with Parker, with Parker McDonald. That's know? right. Yeah. And that was like the first opening. And and this is the crazy thing. We're we're speaking. Well, we're having dinner on a restaurant. We're That's talking right. about deer hunting. Somebody in the back approached to us, introduced himself. Ben Price, uh, one of my best friends. Oh man, talking and this and that and didn't mention anything. We didn't exchange phone numbers or nothing like that. And then two or three weeks later, we went to the hunting convention out there with Mr. Michael, Jamie, and everybody. Yeah, yeah that's right. And um, I walked in that building, and the first face that I saw was Ben. <laughs> and I walked straight to him, and I shook his hand, and I was like, man, do you remember me? He said, yeah, yeah, you know. And he's like, man, I want to exchange numbers with you. I was praying last night, and, and I want you to go to church with me and all this. And, I said, okay, you know, and, and I didn't feel like super excited or nothing like that. So I said, I'm just going to give it a shot. And I slowly started getting involved into it slowly at a time, slowly at a time, just a little bit more. And then I was talking with my wife and I was like, you know, we got married through church. Now let's, let's keep this ball rolling as a marriage. You know, let's try to do the things the right way. And let's, let's try to... You know, let's try to thank God for everything that we have because I've been living the best days of my life since I've been on the States. Right. And it's been a blessing. Every day is a blessing, man. Like, I mean, look at here where we're at, you that's, know? That's right. Yeah, look what we're doing today. You and, know I mean? and um, man, last night we got together. We barely never do this. We barely never together because of different schedules. We went to church together, and, and I was so happy, man. And I was, I was praying God, and I was thanking God. I was like, I mean, thank you, Lord, because... You know, everything that you do for us is, is more than what we can ask. And, you know, every day something better and better and better. And, and and I feel like I don't deserve that, you know, like, and we're talking with a friend of mine. And I said, you know, I never been baptized in my life. And one of these days we're going to get it. And he says, man, I get the tub right now ready. <laughs> and I said, do it, please, because I have my wife. And this right was here. last night. Yes. <laughs> and I said, do it, please, because I have my wife right now right here. Right, and I want to what get, better time than yeah, now? <laughs> I said, I want to get baptized with her as a marriage in God, you know? Right. And um, watch out, fella. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got to run over. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, man, this is one of those amazing things because three days ago, well, four days ago today, it was our 11-year anniversary together. I don't know how... I don't know how she's been putting up with me for so long. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough. <laughs> but, but, but man, I feel like last night was God, you know, welcome me back. Right. Saying like, like finally. The, like the first day of the rest of your life. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> this is it, you know. And um, I feel more than thankful, more than happy. And man, I mean, I called my mom and I was, I was, I was really emotional because, you know, they always praying for you. They yep. always kneeling down for you. They always asking the God for you. The day you're born. You. Yeah, that's, that's the day they wait for. And you yeah. don't know, man, because they always do that on silence. They always do that on their time. And you don't know that they're praying for you, man. So many people been around my life that God has been putting the right people in front of me. I mean, look at me with you today, you know? Right, right. And um, to me, these are, these are the things that are undeniable that we live, you know? under his grace and we are witnesses of his power you know absolutely all the things that he does in my life on your life and, and all my friends um yeah it really is incredible we we were talking not too long ago about um old folks like when you see old couples like you're talking about your your parents your mom like praying for you since your little kids stuff like we were talking about how how some of the, the older folks you see walking around like you go to the grocery store stuff like that and you see this old couple well, you don't realize until you start getting a little bit older and see some of the stuff that you go through as a couple. Yeah. And when you start to kind of walk in the, the path that God wants you to and start trying to defend yourself against Satan and all the hard things in life that happen, you, you see those folks and you wonder what they've been through in their yeah. life. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's no telling what they've seen and what they've done as a couple. Yeah. And it makes you realize why every night they get down on their knees and pray for their kids. Because oh, you know, they've, they've been there before. They, they know that the kids need it more than they realize yet and hope that one day when they hit those obstacles, that's the first thing they'll resort to yeah. because that's what they were taught. Yeah. You know? So, yes, I was, 
Because something that something that the preacher was talking about last night, he says, and it really touched me, man. He, he was like, I just don't want to live by God, you know. He says, I want my sons to live by God. Right. And I want their sons to live by God. And I want this to be a generation through generation, like a passed on generation kind of thing. And I was like, that's amazing because my mom has been working on that for the past 34 years <laughs> right. silently and all her prayers and everything was answered last night and God says there you go right. I got it now you know exactly and, uh, and I felt so happy so thankful man you know and, and hopefully it's not gonna happen but, you know if I die today or tomorrow because we are you know we this is one of the most normal things of life is death, you know? Yep. But if it happens, which I hope not, you know, I hope that I have many, many years more with my wife ahead of me. But if I do that, man, I'd be more than thankful with God right. for everything that he has done because he put perfect family in front of me. He gave me a beautiful wife. There's been nothing but my pillar. She, she became my foundation. She is the one that really shaped me the way that I am right now. She's the one that really like maximize my potential as a man, as a brother, as a husband, as a son, as a friend. You know, she is the one that really pushed me out there. And it was like, you have to follow. You got to go. And and, uh, and I felt that last night was the confirmation of, yes, you know, we all have a purpose. God has a purpose for all of us, right. you know. Well, so and, we talked about yesterday, you know, like you don't realize sometimes until you think you're going to die. Yeah. How, and that was how finite life is. It's like you just don't. You don't ever expect to have done everything for the last time until you know you did everything yeah. for the last time. And that was more terrifying to me than thinking about dying. Yeah, to me, you know, that conversation that we had was eye-opening. Because it really shows you a place that you never feel like you're going to be into. Yeah. It's unedible. Right. You know, it's unedible. It, it is. we all going to face it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, At no. some point in time, you never know when. But, you know, regardless, Ooh. when it, that day comes, you don't want to have regrets like I did about what you've already accomplished yeah. because like I, I felt like I had done everything I ever wanted to do but I had not done everything I needed to do yeah you know like there was a lot of things I was like man there's people I need to call there's conversations I need to have yeah like there's stuff I need to get over <laughs> yeah I you know it was a lot what is that a kitty there's a cat mm. yeah so now that we're saying that guys if you gotta call somebody tell them how much love I'm doing now you gotta call somebody you gotta fix a problem do it now you know whatever you cannot be having an issue with your father with your mom with nobody from your family you gotta call them now because they know it. tomorrow you just never know we we have no grant nothing the right. only thing that we have is this what we're living right now and all you're hurting is yourself yeah. i mean if you if you're living with all that i mean all you're hurting is yourself it's gonna create pain it's gonna create heartache anxiety everything else and a lot of times these other folks that may have given you a problem they're not even thinking anything about it yeah. and, and a lot of times they're the ones that need the most prayer you know you need to make sure that that they understand that God is real too and that you love them and give them a reason to want to be here because a lot yeah. of those folks just don't have a reason to live and that is a sad place to be but it is the truth and it is it is real yes it is it is as real as it can be yeah today we're gonna go find some white tails yes because today's a good day so it pablo is. so pablo got baptized last night yeah. and decided to take a day off work and come and scout so we're gonna make the best of it today we're gonna walk until we can't walk no more so if, if y'all don't see us here in a few hours somebody needs to come looking well, we'll hopefully, have yeah hopefully it's gonna be good yeah i think it's gonna be good i'm really hoping that that, that camera is still up there man well, I bet it is. You probably, got, might be on it, you you probably got a big old monster on there. Ah, oh, man, I will, honestly, if I can get like one bug, regardless of the size, on the camera, <laughs> I'd be more than excited and happy because it will be a huge accomplishment. That's right. It will be kind of like a, the confirmation of, aha, uh -huh, you're doing you put the yourself right there. thing. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You're following the right path and you're actually learning a little bit of the mountain. And uh, best case scenario, man, is going to be up there. You never know. Hey, we might even share some pictures later. That's right. You know. We're going to get in here and get to looking. See y'all in a minute. All right, guys. Well, we, we've made it off in one of these holes down in here. We yeah. ain't quite at the very bottom yet, but we're making it. And look what we just found. The first shed of the day. It's, yeah. only, a, it's only a piece of one. This bone. Yeah. So it counts. <laughs> yeah. <Definitely does. laughs> missing, missing everything. It finds his base, everything. 
and chewing on it. But that's that's still pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's the first shed we found together anyway. Maybe we'll find another one. Maybe, yeah. that's, maybe we're good luck scouting together. <laughs> Out here on the very end of a point. Now up above that bottom. Found a little scrape right here. You find, you find another scrape? There's an old rub on this tree right here. Nothing fresh. <clears throat> yeah. Sure is good looking branch right there. Mm -hmm. Hanging down. Yep, right on the edge of this mess. Yeah. You're much. talking about some good bedding area, right on the top of this hill, end of a point, above a creek bottom, in a thicket. It's just perfect. Maybe a good spot for in the mornings. Yeah. Yeah, here's another one. Another one right here. This is a big one too. This is a lot. Yeah, this is a lot bigger scrape. This has got uh this has got fresh crap in it. Yep. Dough. Sure does. I mean, I say fresh. It's not. It's not that old. <laughs> Much weather as we've had, it hasn't been here that long. Yeah, I mean, this is so narrow. This little yeah. ridge is so narrow up through here. You can see there's a giant hole right there and a giant hole behind us. It was just on a little, little neck. There's a bed right here. I don't know if y'all can yeah. see. It's got hair in it. But you can see this kind of this outline right here is just, just flat. Yep. Mm. See the hairs in it. That's awesome. Well, That's probably amazing. what what are we maybe maybe 75 yards from where those scrapes are? At the most. Yeah, but right here, yeah. he's sitting right on this point. Can go that way with not a problem and disappear this way with not an issue. Yep. And just be gone. Absolutely. That's fantastic. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, so cool. They do this thing. A lot of people, well, I mean, I used to think that it was kind of like a randomly, but man, these spots are meticulously calculated. Mm hmm. And they know exactly why. Well, it's like they've learned year after yeah. year. It's like the bucks that we jumped this morning. Yeah. They just learned that where we walked. Yeah. So they probably won't do that again. And you by the I mean? way, yeah, by the way, they were they were still holding. We're in April. Yep. Yeah, and it was a small basket buck right. holding antlers, you know. Yep. Right. Uh, it has no battery. Well, it's been in here so long. Since August. Yeah. yeah. And it's one of them minis, so look, it's only four it's only batteries. Got four. So yeah. and I got it on a that's I'm really Man, I'm really happy to be honest. I was not <laughs> expecting this thing to be right here. Well, man, like I said, ain't nobody gonna find this thing. Yeah, I was. I like, could mark it on GPS. I wouldn't even know how to get back in here. <laughs> That's what I was. I was like, I remember right here when you started getting on the nasty area. And uh, man, seriously, last year there was a big scrape right there be behind. under that branch. Yeah. Well, it's coming straight from that where we where I crossed that creek. You need to walk back the way that I come in. Yeah. And that trail comes straight in here. Okay. Let me see. I think that's gonna be the better, the better cross. At least where the bucks are crossing. That's where the, the buck sign was at. With those doe tracks you saw over there, small yeah. tracks. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on. I mean, I did make sure to tie it, you know. So here we go. So yes, definitely, definitely has been like a eye-opening experience, especially with that bedding up there, man. Because like I was discussing with you, I used to think that they were just kind of like a I mean, they're wild animals. We all get it. But I mean, I used to think they were just kind of like a randomly, I just got tired, I'm gonna bed right here. And no, everything is meticulously calculated in order to survive. You know, they're, they're always thinking about tomorrow. Their advantage, especially, yep. Especially, especially them bugs. And that's something I just never knew about. I never thought that it could have been even possible. And they're always, always thinking about tomorrow. You know, like I could be hungry and I could be thirsty. But it's more important tomorrow, you know, especially when they get that old and that big, they, I mean, they don't prove themselves right. that they do have what it takes. Uh, unless the road gets around and them ladies get around are the kicking, yeah. yeah, they lose it, you know. Mm. Yeah, y'all check this out. That's a big old tree. That's fresh from this past season. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised that we haven't found anything. And uh, suddenly... Yeah, because it feels like we're in the right spot. Yeah. But there just hasn't been anything. And all of a sudden, I mean, we see a little little trail come right off the side of this, this hill right here. And there's an old rub. Come across something like this. And then here's a fresh one. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know where that's they came one, from. Yeah. Or where uh, they're going. Be like, oh, no, that's a bear. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a cat scratching. Yeah. It's all right. Don't hunt it. Don't hunt it. We'll man. hunt it. Give us the give us a GPS. Yeah, and we will relocate and feed it for you. Yeah. yeah. There's another one on a small tree up there. Another little rub. Yeah, I found another rub and a scrape here. We're just off the side of the riverbank now. Mm -hmm. It's like a rub on that tree right there. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Sure it is. And one back there. Look at that. You see that small sapling? Oh yeah, sure is. It's fresh too. This old trail goes right up through this this thicket right here in these hemlocks. Big scrape right there is an old rub on that tree. It looks like might have been another scrape right there. Little small rub. There's a scrape there. Mm -hmm. Just inside of this thick stuff. I mean, we're not, what, 10 yards from the open yep. opening? At the most. And they're just traveling right through this. Yep, there's got to be a creek crossing right here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, that's a rub right there. Sure is. No doubt about it. Yeah. Right yep. Rubbing that mountain laurel tree. Mm -hmm. See the browse line? We've been nipping them leaves off this year, man. This was, they were feeding on these things like crazy. There wasn't nothing to eat. Yeah. There's a, maybe where they're crossing one of those. Maybe right here. On this sand. Yeah, one of those sandbars. And just going across. Yeah, everything down there is water. And water back the other way. Right here, they're just hitting these, hitting all these little flat spots. Yeah, you can see the yeah look at that where they're here. coming up. Yeah. Yeah, you can see, look, I mean, this has been heavily browsed. Look at that. Right under, it's like right at that line, it's just gone. See, they've eaten all the leaves. The mountain laurel's got leaves there and none on the bottom. It's gone. Yeah, all up through here. Pretty good stuff, man. That's cool. It's good, learning, good learning, to know, man. good to know. Learning a lot today. That's what you and right here by your, where your camera was at, I hope there's yeah. some pictures on there. I hope so too. Like I said, I was kind of like disencouraged when I went up there and it looks like it was dead. Because when I set it up, it was looking good, man. So, I mean, you never know. Right. Now, this stuff right here, man, kind of like, I mean, it will cover up a scrape that hasn't been used in a month. It will just cover up. Oh, yeah. Busy. Yeah. And uh, you never know. We gotta go check that out. We'll know out. in a little while. We'll look at them pictures, yeah. them cards. Yeah, we got to pick them up just a few. What's up in there? And then we found that track up there, remember? Oh, yeah. The giant. Yeah, the big, huge track. We're gonna try to cross right here. Might as well. My feet are already wet now. Are they? We yeah. We can go right through here. We got like a yeah, be I go up. That's a crossing right there, man. Look at that. Yep, you can see where they're coming up. Yeah. I mean, they can cross anywhere right here. To be honest. Yeah, I mean, they're they're deer. They're a lot yeah. they're a lot better at this than we are. Oh boy, yeah. It's a little swift. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep this camera rolling so that when I fall and bust my tail. Yeah. Everybody know what I looked like when I was dry. These are those waterproof rocky snake boots that are 100% waterproof. Makes you question why my feet are covered in water. These are the most unwaterproof, waterproof boots ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> you know, we're both. It actually feels kind of good though. Hey, but I tell you what, man. If I fall in the water, I'm like a minnow. Hey, I swim. <laughs> I can swim. You start swimming. Just like a minnow, yeah. <laughs> I stay in the shallow. You know? <laughs> That's right. All right. Now all we have to do is climb that with our repelling, our repelling gear. Yep. And we'll be back on track. And we'll be ready to go.
Yeah, there's a few of them. Looks like even some old ones. Right on that old road. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a dang good tree right there. Yeah. It's high off the ground, too. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Really good rub. On this tree right here, too. Just following this. I guess following this little bench right yeah, down this draw. Bench. And right Remember I told you, I was just right up there on that hill. Boom, that kind of like a flat area. Right. And that's when I bumped that big one. Right. Oh, didn't have a, didn't have a shot, nothing. I mean, he just caught me by surprise. I bet you he smelled me. And uh, I got busted. You won't yeah, get busted this year. This year you'll kill him. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> we're better. We were knocking on the door a couple of years in a row. It was really good deer right around and just not having a shot. That's mm -hmm. what he goes and that's what we keep chasing. But yeah, this is pretty good. But yeah, that one is I like that. that one is really that's tall. a that's a great yeah, that's a really yeah. good throw about that. Yeah. What the, like thirty inches of the ground? Yeah. yeah. Very possibly done at night, but also yeah. very possibly going straight to where you're gonna be climbing. <laughs> yeah. Where we where we find all that stuff up there. Yep. All right, well, we're done. We're finally back out at the truck. We've pulled three cameras and we are gonna go see what kind of footage we can get. And whatever we get, we're gonna show at the end of this video. Yeah, definitely. Good day overall. Yeah. No doubt. Uh, yep, found a, a shed out rain. Yeah, found a shed, found a lot of good sign, recent sign. Well, I mean, of course. A little bit of both, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, overall, really good you know it's kind of like another good learning experience because you get to confirm some of the things that you might think that it's kind of like going on and happening and uh you kind of like um learn how to anticipate certain things from happening to you right and you know at the end of the day it's a bunch of lessons and now that we're here last season i was i was uh one of these wmas you know they got a rifle hunt uh, i usually miss all my rival hunts because kind of like a work related schedule i took some days off and uh, i was out there with a buddy of mine came across this area it was a nasty pine thicket and i like it i thought that you know based on what i saw in the moment you know it was what i was looking for and i decided to climb up so i got done i mean i'm literally done and i reached down to pull up on my pull-up rope remember this is a rival hunt so i got a high power rifle on the ground and when I grab my pull-up rope and I look up, it was a giant standing maybe about 60 yards looking <laughs> straight at me oh, on my no. eyes. I mean, he was locked up on me. So I froze and he started waving that head up and down, up and down. And I said, he's fixing a bolt. I mean, he probably saw me climbing the tree throughout probably. five minutes just looking at me going up. He took a running. Uh, I, I mean, that was the quickest. 2022 pull up route that you ever seen in your life. It was just like boom, boom. <laughs> Rifle was in my hands. And he ran maybe about 80 yards, kind of like I J hooked me, and he stopped. And I could see his rack on one side and his hind quarter behind a monster pond. He's maybe about 100 yards, man. And I put the scope in there and I was like, if I try to do the Texas hard shot, you know, <laughs> put right. the hind quarter. I mean, knowing, I mean, it's a hundred yards, man. And I, I say, I'm gonna wound this animal. Then we're gonna get a dog and we're gonna chase him all the way down to Florida. Right. And we're not gonna get him, right. you know? So, I mean, some some, some people were like, oh, you should have just put a shot on him regardless and all that. I mean, at the end of the day, I thought that I took the right decision of right. just not taking that kind of chance. But the thing that it was priceless is that I did learn a lesson, a <laughs> priceless lesson, a hard lesson, man. And trust me, after that day, man, I'm climbing up with my bow or the rifle, just like Rambo, with that thing strapped to my neck. Yep, always have it on. As I'm going up, you know. I was always a firm believer because you heard the stories, man. You see a few videos about it. And it's these nightmares of having a buck right there and your equipment is down there. You never think that it's going to happen to you. Right. What? Right. And, then, and I don't, like, I won't load my rifle on the ground and climb with it but i will climb with it on my back because 
I mean, to me, I don't even like having an unloaded gun, yeah. pulling it up in that pull rope, looking at that barrel, or you know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I just don't like it. Yeah. You know, it makes me nervous. Yeah. Like I, I, I prefer it to be on my back, attached yeah. to me. You know, it's just, it's just a good idea anyway. And at least yeah. that way, you said if your buck comes up, at least you can load that sucker and have it on you. Yeah, it's I, ready to go. Yeah, it was a hard lesson, man, and that's pretty much what we were talking about early on. You know, this is hopefully. If everything falls in place, you just like we said, you know, you cannot count your chickens until they hatch mm -hmm. pretty much. But I mean, if everything falls in place the right way and every single dot aligned the way that they should, I will be more than excited if I can kill a good one. It's been two years in a row mm -hmm. with, with one that we could not recover, that he was a monster. Uh, and last year with this giant up there, still hurts. It'll happen. Yeah, it happens, but that's what we do it. And that's what we learn <laughs> from it, and we just go at it, man. And uh, you know, I really, definitely appreciate these days out here, man. Yeah. I learn a lot. It means a lot. To it's me, fun. It's know? what all this walking's for. Yeah, definitely. You want to hope that it's worth it, because boy, it sure does hurt sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. good to sit down a minute. Mm -hmm. Y'all enjoy the uh, pictures. If we got some pictures, put them on here, and maybe y'all like what you see. We'll yeah. see y'all in the next video.